ride sharing and food delivery have become super popular. Over the last 10 years, you really saw it grew, especially during the pandemic. You saw food delivery just really explode. And ride sharing, I mean, who rents a car anymore? It seems like everywhere that I travel now, I just get an Uber. Uh, some people just don't even have a car. They'd rather just take Uber and public transportation. So it's really changed uh, both the, the automotive needs for people, food delivery and how people dine out. It's really changed. In today's video, I'm going to cover Uber. Uber announced their earnings this week and I have fresh data so I can update my analysis on this company. My name is Victor. I'm an MBA, a lot of business experience. And I use that experience to really analyze companies that I look to invest in. In this video, I'm going to cover Uber. Do me a big favor and like my video, consider subscribing to this channel. And now let me tell you about Uber. I like to follow a process in a scorecard in all my investments and involves four questions followed by a decision whether I want to buy more shares, hold or sell my shares in a particular company. The first question is, do I really like this business? Do I want, do I want to be a part owner? Do I like the industry? Second question, do I believe the management's doing a good job and operating and performing well? Is debt under control? And I want a discount on the stock because at the end of the day, I want my stock price to appreciate. Based on the answers to those questions, I buy, hold, or sell this particular stock. So Uber has just really been a great success story. They've grown and have over 137 million platform subscribers. And that's just so many people that either hail a ride or have food delivered to them. So that type of scale is just really incredible. I really like their story that, hey, they've, they've carved out a big part of the market share in this new part of the economy, this uh, ride sharing, sharing economy, uh, the food delivery economy. Uh, those two things have just great growth. And Uber is really at the center and in a leadership position within those industries. So I really like the company. I think they're they're innovative. They have great a great brand. And I really like the industry because this is a new industry that's growing. And uh, as, as Uber is showing that it's becoming very profitable and very cash flow generating. I really liked Uber's earnings, starting with the income statement. They're showing revenue growth, which is very good. And they're showing that they're going to be consistently profitable now, which is very important. The one thing I did not like is that the number of shares outstanding did go up. That is not good. I like seeing sh uh, the number of shares outstanding go down. So that was one bad note on the income statement. What's working for Uber is that they've already built out their infrastructure. They've built out their network. A lot of the heavy lifting on investing is behind them. And now I think their most profitable days are ahead of them because they have a, a very high run rate of revenue. And now they can really focus on profitability and cash flow generation. Their balance sheet was okay. They have a high amount of cash and they also have some debt. They don't generate a lot of EBITDA just yet. So their EBITDA ratio was above three, which is my, my perfect situation is that they're under three. I'm gonna give them a pass because their EBITDA is so small that it's hard to generate EBITDA to pay off a lot of debt. I believe that EBITDA is going to grow over time. So I'm going to give them a pass for now, but really watch their, their debt level and their EBITDA that they produce in future quarters. The highlight of their, their uh, financial statements is the statement of cash flow, just dynamic cash flow growth. They grew their cash flows. If you compare the first six months of 2023, compared to the first six months of 2022, they grew up by 404%. Great job, Uber. So it's showing that their, their infrastructure is, is built out, their scale is built out, and now they're going to start producing very big numbers when it comes to cash flow, free cash flow. I believe Uber is currently discounted by 30%. Therefore, I think the stock is really worth $58.66. It's currently trading at $45.20. How do I get to that 30% discount on Uber? I've gone through two methods. First is the cash flow method, uh, discounting of free cash flows. And the second is discounting of earnings per share. First, let's take a look at cash flows. As shown in uh, the, the previous slide, I went over cash flows and I took the run rate that they currently have and doubled it for this year. It may be higher because they just continue to grow dynamically, 
but really doubling the current six month trend of 1 billion, 1.69 billion would get us $3.3 billion as the starting point for year one. I'm gonna grow years two through four at 25%. That is conservative. I showed you 404% growth in free cash flow and then all future periods at 6%. So I feel like these numbers are conservative. It's not pie in the sky, you know, really exaggerated numbers. So based on those figures, those are the cash flows for the first four years. And then the terminal growth rate growing at 6% equates to $233 billion of free cash flows I would expect for all years past year four. I'm going to discount them on a weighted average cost of capital of 9%. And I get to a present value of all those free cash flows of $168 billion for all of Uber. I'm going to add the cash, take away the debt, and get to an equity value of $163 billion. The current market cap, and this is the typo, is $91 billion for Uber. And therefore, this current value per share that I calculate is $81.47 of value based on free cash flow method for Uber, but they're only trading at $45.20. So there is an 80% discount if you use the discounted uh, free cash flow method. The earnings per share method starts with the earnings per share that's expected this year. They just became profitable this year. So their earnings per share is really low, even with a high PE it doesn't yield the big value. It's actually valuing shares at $13 per share. So this valuation is really low and um, it gives me a value of 13. I'm still gonna average that with free cash flows, taking two parts of free cash flow method, one part of earnings per share method, and it gets me that 30%. So I, I believe that's a good number and a conservative valuation for Uber. So let me scorecard Uber. First, I definitely want to be an owner in this business. And I definitely want to be a part of this industry. It's dynamic. It's profitable. It's, it's a really good industry to be a part of. The management team is doing a great job. Great job in getting the company to profitability. I'm going to give them a pass on 3x EBITDA. I think their balance sheet is fine. I think they're going to grow into a bigger EBITDA number. And that balance sheet is going to be fine. There is an available discount on the stock, especially after last week when stocks sold off. So therefore, I'm going to be buying more shares of Uber. Now that I have all my analysis, I'm in a position where I could see when I want to buy Uber stock if I were to decide to do so. And I could see that over the last uh, five years, the stocks had you know some low points and some, some periods when it was trading really low. And of course, some high points like around the 2021 era when so much food delivery was happening. But you saw that over you know a nice one-year uh, uh, time frame, the stock price just really dropped. But you know, I started buying because holy smokes is really low. And there's a big difference between where the value that I think of the company is and the prices that they were uh, they were trading for back in the mid-2022 era. But this year to date, boy, the stock's really gone up. It's up 78%. So it's done really well. It's been it's been great to own Uber. Uh, but this is the advantage. You do your homework, you de determine, you know, what's the stock worth? You know, and I think it's worth around this line. So I'm going to watch it and invest, especially on down periods. Like we've had this recent uh, uh, downward trend where stocks are selling off. Well, it's a good opportunity to start buying some more shares of Uber. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Do me a big favor and like my video. Also consider subscribing to my channel. Good luck investing in 2023.